What's the weight? Okay. So um, this is virtually the same as the aircraft. Okay. Uh, everything's positioned where it's supposed to be. The displays are right, like, like they're supposed to be. The controls are where they are supposed to be. If you look around, you don't see very many switches or control panels. Exactly right. I was just about to say that, actually. That's the way we designed the jet. None are missing. They're all here. Okay? Oh. So we took everything out of the cockpit to start and let things earn their way back in. As they earn their way back in, this is all that was left. Okay? All that information on the screen would actually be on your helmet, right on the visor. There's a lot of data there. But you look at the information that you need at the time. Kind of like in a car, there's a lot of information on the dash. What are you really looking at? When you're driving, what are you looking at? You're looking out the window. Here in Australia, you get booked a lot. When you want to know your speed, you look at the speedo. Yeah, exactly. Same thing goes here. You're looking out the window. If you want to know your speed, the number on the left is your speed. Right now, it's zero. If you want to know your altitude, the number's on the right. 1,850 feet above sea level, and you're 10 feet above the ground because the sensor's on the jet and the landing gear's down. Okay? Next thing you want to know is where you're going, where the airplane is actually going. In the center, there's a circle. A circle has two lines on the side, one on the top. Wings and a tail. That's the indication of where your aircraft is going. That's a flight path marker. Okay? The rest of that stuff on there, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. That is all you need right now for this takeoff, okay? Yeah. So you're going to control your speed with your left hand on the throttle. Just like, just rest your hand flat over the top of it. Just like that. Okay. okay. You're going to control your... I, sorry to interrupt, but I feel a lot of buttons there be, underneath there my fingers buttons. there. There are, there are a lot of buttons there. Are 12. Busy here. There are, well, oh. yes and no. There are 12 switches on that throttle, <laughs> and you use the one that you need when you need it. For takeoff, you don't need any of them. Now, you're going to control your flight path marker with your right hand on the steering, on the joystick here. Push it on up there. Right there is military power. That's the afterburner. Now, just stay there. Stay there. Full throttle. Full throttle. Not much rudder. That's enough. Now, pull back with your right hand. A little more, a little bit more. Now, let it go. Both hands can come off the controls. Both hands. Now we're going to raise the landing gear. That landing gear handle is right in front of the throttle. Grab that and pick it up. Okay, now pull the nose up a little bit. Now take your hands off. Take both hands off. Airplane's okay. A lot of trimming to do with this? No, sir. Trim is automatic. That is incredible. You have to change the flaps either. That's automatic as well. <laughs> so notice your flight path circle I was talking about earlier is on that line with the number five. That five line is a five degree pitch line. So you're climbing out of here at an angle of about five degrees nose high. Okay, so notice now your speed is, is 630 knots, 627 knots. You are supersonic already. And you are not doing anything. The airplane's okay. You're going through, go ahead. The climb rate is unbelievable. The climb rate can be greater than that. Go ahead and point the nose up. Can we go all the way? Pull back on the stick, pull it back, pull it back harder. Pull it back harder. More, more, more. More. That's a 45 degree climb. Keep pulling back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Stop right there. Just let it go. Just hands off. <coughs> so now you're going up vertical. You're going straight up. You're 18, 19,000 feet up. 20, 21, 22. That's a climb rate for you. How much work is it though? Effortless. Absolutely effortless. Yeah. Go ahead and pull back on the stick again. Pull it back more, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. Notice that those numbers are upside down on that pitch ladder. That's because you are upside down. Continue to pull back on the stick. There's a runway you took off from. And now you're, at this point, you are 34,000 feet in the air. Continue to pull back. If you wish. You can pull it back harder if you want to. Full deflection on the controls to you, from you to the aircraft, is max command. The airplane will give you its maximum performance, whatever that is, based on your input. That is amazing. And, I say whether, and I say whatever that is because it may not be the same thing in all flight conditions. 
So, now take this joystick here. I want you to push it hard to the left. Uh, it almost feels like G force is on the uh, Push it hard to the left, all the way over, and then let go. Uh, and it stabilizes. So you notice that you don't have to counter the input. You just release the controls. Now, with this control, very gentle, push to the right, and let go. Notice how it's slowly drifting to the right. It just stays there. It just stays where you leave it. So as you can see, this airplane is really, really easy to fly. Although it's a very complex fighting machine, yeah. it's not complicated as far as flying is controlled. It's not complicated as far as engaging threats and targets. I'm used to putting a little bit of rudder when you turn left or right. Okay. It doesn't seem to be asking for any rudder. That's exactly right. Notice that there are several displays. There are four primary display portals. Each one has two secondary windows. If you roll the wings level for me, more left, bring the nose up to the horizon line. Bring the nose up a little bit more, up a little more, release that control just like that. That left center display is labeled TSD, TSD-1. That's a tactical situation display. That's where sense of fusion is displayed to the pilot. All of your sensors contribute to that one display. So what we're gonna do now is make that picture bigger. We're gonna spread it out more to use more real estate on that panoramic cockpit display. In the bottom center of that window, you see two blue triangles, one pointing at the other. Touch the one that's pointing to the left and release it. That made that one picture bigger. That's amazing. So you'll see on there now two airplanes. I can see you've got a few empty ones here. Does that mean you can transfer stuff around? Well, they're not really empty. Oh. Touch, touch the one that says search. Okay. Touch the center of that bottom center again. Got it. Touch where it says SRCH. That brings that page up to the primary. So those, that information is there, but it's not in the full, full size Right. because it's not your primary display. Right. So now, back to that tactical situation display. In addition to the two airplanes you see there, the large one is you. The other one is another F-35. Okay, Behind you on your right at about a five o'clock position, you see two white squares, or a white square. Yeah. That is the aircraft, a, 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 a um, an enemy aircraft. So what we're gonna do is engage and destroy. Okay, with your left thumb on the throttle, bring your left thumb up to that first controller, that guy right there. Slide that switch down to the right. Push a little harder. See those bars moving over there? Put the bars on the white square. Bring it down, or bring that switch back. Bring it back more. Put those bars on that white square. Got it, right there. Now, we're gonna select it with your right thumb on this joystick here. Look at it. That switch, click it forward one time. Got it. Now you see it has a red ring around it. You have selected that aircraft to be your target. Stop there, pull back on the stick, straight back, pull hard. That's a 9G turn, continue that turn. You just fall in that line, another 60 degrees, 50, 40, 30. Stop right there, roll left, Bring the nose up, 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 up. Inside that square is where that target is. Okay, now we're going to select a weapon, okay? Left thumb, top switch, left thumb, top switch, one click to the right. So now that you see that, that box, that tar target box is now a solid line as opposed to a dash line. It means you got a weapon selected for that target. Steer to the right just a little bit, more right. Stop right there. Now on this targeting flare, will show you that you can actually see, zooming in, that aircraft is that aircraft, is that aircraft, okay? So now you're in range where you can shoot that, that target, fire a missile, it tells you that you can shoot right there. Yeah. Push this red button one time. Good enough, the weapons bay door opens up, the missile comes out, and the missile launches out to that target. The doors close up automatically, weapons away. Close that off, close that off. Okay, so that missile is going to hit that target. And you say, it's still flying, I missed. 
I say, the weapon hadn't got there yet. <laughs> Now you can see it sees the target. You can see that you hit the target. Whether it saw the target or not is inconsequential. Right. You had already selected, you had already launched the missile, this fire and forget missile, you can leave and it will hit that target yeah. unless the weapon fails, yeah. which is always a possibility. Yeah. So you want to confirm that you actually scored, scored a hit. On that target flare, you can actually capture that image and transmit it back to, to headquarters, yeah. command and control. Okay. So now let's turn, I'll turn the weapons off. Left thumb, top switch. Push down the center, right down the middle. There you go. Now we're going to throttle back. Left hand back, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back. And we're going to go back and head for the head for the runway, which happens to be behind you on the right. I was <laughs> a little bit more to the right. Now release the stick, just let it go. Let it maintain that turn just like that. Release the stick a little bit, not so much pressure. Bring your throttle back a little bit more. Stay there, relax. Close it up a bit. Stay there, no more, hands off. And you're on the ground. Throttle back to idle. Now we're gonna use your feet. Push on the top of both pedals, hard on the top. There you go, deflect your toes down. A little bit of left rudder. That's excellent. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just like that. That is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. You're a champ. You were flying. Yeah. I was You're riding on the wing. That is an amazing feeling. Absolutely amazing. Glad you enjoyed it. So, this is the way the aircraft flies. All the controlling you did is exactly the way you'd fly the aircraft. All the response you got out of the jet is exactly what you'd get out of the, out of the aircraft. It almost felt like a f the G forces. It actually, when we were turning, it actually felt like I was feeling the G forces. You know. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I missed your first name, Ken Cooper. Ken Cooper, yes. Ken sir. Cooper, thank you so much. And thanks for being on the flying show, oh, mate. It's my pleasure. Glad to be here. I'm glad, happy to be here. Thank you. It's so been much. great. Oh. All right. Let me let you out of there. <laughs>